Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Ian Talk. It's that time of year again where we look back on the past 12 months and review the great movies that came out of Korean cinema. As always, I'm your host Ian, and this year, I'm honored to announce that TVN Movies has partnered up with Ian Talk to present the K-Movie Awards of 2020. TVN Movies provides the latest Korean blockbusters in Asian countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and the Philippines, and so I'm super excited to be able to collaborate with them on this year's awards show. To say 2020 has been a crazy year would be an understatement. There have been countless events that shook the world, and I'm sure many of you are looking forward to the end of the year and the start of a new one. I as well am hopeful for 2021, and I sincerely do hope the new year will bring about a safe world and a lot more great Korean films as well. But before we look forward to 2021, let's look back at the noteworthy Korean movies that came out in 2020. A voting process took place from December 1st to the 15th on 12 different categories of Best Comedy, Best Action, Best Crime Slash Mystery, Best Thriller Slash Horror, Best Drama, Best Cast, Best Director, Best Supporting Actor, Best Supporting Actress, Best Lead Actor, Best Lead Actress, and of course, Movie of the Year. More than 1,500 people partook in the polling, and that's three times as much as last year's voting. That just shows how much the Ian Talk community has grown over the past year. The 2020K Movie Awards will have two winners per category. Ian's pick, which literally is the movie or actor that I chose to represent the category, and the fan's pick, which is the movie or the actor the Ian Talk community members chose through the voting process. Okay then, that being said, let's get right into the reveal of the award winners. The first category of the 2020K Movie Awards is Best Comedy. Nominated for the Best Comedy of 2020 were OK Madam, Honest Candidate, Hitman Agent June, Mr. Zoo the Missing VIP, and Secret Zoo. My pick of Best Comedy of 2020 was OK Madam. The fans pick of Best Comedy of 2020 was also OK Madam. Taking 26.7% of the votes for this category, OK Madam was a comedy action film starring Om Jung Hwa, Park Song Woo, Lee Sang Yoon, Bae Jung Nam, and Lee Seon Bin. If you're a fan of light action comedies like last year's best comedy, Extreme Job, then this is the movie for you. Moving on to the next category, nominated for the best action of 2020 were Deliver Us From Evil, Peninsula, Steel Rain Summit, The Swordsman, and the Golden Holiday. The movie that I chose as the best action of this year was Deliver Us From Evil. Deliver Us From Evil had the return of the duo of Hwang Jung Min and Lee Jung Jae from one of my personal favorite K movies, New World, as well as a superb performance by Park Jung Min, and I thought this had the best action sequences of 2020. What film did the fans pick as the best action? The fans pick was Peninsula. Receiving 43.2% of the votes, Peninsula had a cast line above Kang Dong Won, Lee Jung Yeon, Lee Re, Kwon Hae Yo, Kim Min Jae, Go Gyu Wan, Kim Do Yoon, and Lee Ye Won. This zombie blockbuster was the sequel to the 2016 hit Train to Busan, taking place four years after the prequel. Next, the best crime slash mystery. Nominated for this category were Beast Clawing Ass Draws, Time to Hunt, Voice of Silence, Collectors, and the day I died. My pick for best crime slash mystery of 2020 was Beast Clawing Ass Draws. Released in the first quarter of 2020, Beast Clawing Ass Draws had an incredible cast lineup and was a very entertaining ride. The fans' pick of best crime slash mystery was Time to Hunt. Acquiring 30.5% of the total votes, Time to Hunt had an ensemble cast of Lee Jae Hoon, An Jae Hong, Choi Yoo Sik, Park Jung Min, and Park Hye Soo. Although this movie was originally supposed to release in early 2020, it was delayed several times before eventually having a global Netflix release. This approach of having a Netflix release instead of a theatrical one was something new we've seen this year with the whole pandemic taking place, and quite frankly, although we do lose out on the theater going experience, it's a good way for the global audience to watch K-movies simultaneously as they are released. Going into the category of Best Thriller Slash Horror, the nominations included Diva, Beauty Water, Alive, Intruder, and The Call. My pick of best thriller slash horror was The Call. As with Time to Hunt, 
The Call was also a film that originally had an early 2020 in-theater release, but was later released on Netflix instead. This movie has been receiving great response globally and really showcased Chun jong seo as an excellent actress. The fan's pick of best thriller slash horror was Intruder Intruder had the highest poll percentage of all the categories, receiving a whopping 46.2%. This thriller starred Song ji yo Kim mu yeol Ye Soo-jung, Choi sang Woon, Park min Na, and Ho jun seok amongst others. And I must say, the performances given by the lead Song ji yo and Kim mu yeol were amazing. Moving along, which movie won the category of Best Drama? Let's first take a look at the nominations. The Man Standing Next, Pawn, Innocence, Samjin Company English Class, and Good Neighbor. Which film did I choose as the best drama of 2020? My pick was... Pawn. This family film was not only funny and humorous, but also very heartwarming and emotional. Not to mention, the child actress Park so Yi was absolutely adorable. The fans pick? The fan selection of best drama was... Innocence. Drawing in 36.4% of the votes, Innocence had the cast members Shin Hye Sun, Bae Jong Wook, Ho Jun Ho, Hong Young, Tae Yang Ho, Ko Chang Seok, and Park Seol Min, amongst others. The film had great acting, a good story, and a satisfying build-up with a satisfying ending. It's a film that I also very much enjoyed, and if you're a fan of crime mystery dramas, I highly recommend giving this a go. Okay, now moving on to the category of Best Cast. Let's take a look at the nominations of which films had the best cast members. Beast Clawing Ass Draws Time to Hunt Collectors The Man Standing Next and Deliver Us From Evil Which film did I believe have the best cast? Time to Hunt And the fans pick? Also Time to Hunt Time to Hunt received 31.6% of the votes and which amazing stars shined in this movie? The cast members included Lee Jae-hoon, An Jae-yong, Choi Woo-sik, Park Jung-min, and Park Hye-soo. Without even watching the movie, just the cast lineup really intrigued me and attracted me to the film. This was by far one of the most highly anticipated films of 2020 for me, and the reason being because of the cast. Next, the best director. Which directors were nominated for this category? Woo Min-ho, Jo Seul-ye, Yeon Sang-ho, Hong Lee-jung, and Hong Won Chang. First, my pick. My pick for the best director of 2020 was Umino. I absolutely love the film that Umino directed, The Man Standing Next, and must praise him for directing such a great movie. The man also directed the likes of The Spies, Drug King, and The Amazing Inside Men. The fans' pick of best director of 2020 was Yeon Sang-ho. Receiving 37% of the votes, Yeon Sang-ho, who directed Peninsula, also directed the likes of Psychokinesis, the animated film Soul Station, and of course, the prequel to Peninsula, Train to Busan. Famous for also being an animation director, let's look forward to his next production as well. Going into the Best Supporting Actor, let's take a look at which actors were nominated in this category. So yeon Park Ji-wan, Lee Gyu-young, Hong Gyung, and Lee sang yeop My pick of Best Supporting Actor was Hong Gyung. It was my first time seeing this actor in the movie Innocence, but he definitely left the mark in my books of up-and-coming actors. Hong Gyung played a character that suffers from mental illness, and he was able to perform this role in a very natural way that wasn't overly exaggerated nor overwhelming. Who did the fans choose as the Best Supporting Actor of 2020? The fans pick was Lee sang yeop Mr. Lee, who was in The Day I Die, received 45.4% of the votes and was also in the movies The Villagers and The Flu. He can be seen in a lot of K-dramas and variety shows as well nowadays. And the next category is Best Supporting Actress. The nominations? Kim Seon Young, Lee Ju Young, Yeom Jung Ah, Ye Soo Jung, and Kim Seong Young. My pick of Best Supporting Actress was Kim Seon Young. Kim Seon Young, who was in The Day I Died, is a familiar face in Korean movies and dramas, and it's great to see her receive more and more roles nowadays. The fans' pick of Best Supporting Actress was Ye Soo Jung. 
Earning 40% of the votes, Ye Soo Jung, who was an intruder, is a veteran actress in Korean cinema who also starred in the movies Her Story, along with The Gods to Two Worlds, and most recently, An Old Lady. With just three categories left, let's now take a look at the nominations of Best Lead Actor of 2020. Nominated for Best Actor were Lee byung Hun, Hwang Jung-min, Lee Jung-jae, Song Dong-il, and Jung woo Sung. My pick for the Korean actor that showed the best performance of this year was Lee byung Hun. I cannot express enough how amazing Lee byung Hun was in The Man Standing Next. It's very rare to see Korean actors able to speak English while giving a good performance, but Lee byung Hun breaks down this barrier as he's able to do both in such a fine manner. And it's not just the English performance, but just his mannerism and charisma really reaches a new height in this. The fans pick for the best lead actor was Song Dong-il. Making up 41.5% of the votes, Mr. Song Dong-il is another very well-known veteran actor in Korea who also starred in the movies Metamorphosis, The Chase, and Midnight Runners, as well as K-dramas such as Reply 1988. He was able to give a very humorous and emotional performance in Pawn and was a wonderful casting choice for the film. Moving along to Best Lead Actress, let's take a look at which actresses had the honor of being nominated for Best Lead Actress. Shin Hye-sun, Jeon Do-yeon, Park So-hee, Shin Mi-na, and Jeon Jong-seo. My pick for Best Lead Actress was Jeon Jong-seo. I think I briefly mentioned this before, but Jeon jong seo was absolutely amazing in the call. She really showed a new side to herself, and I believe this is only the start for her very bright acting future. The fans pick for best lead actress was Shin hye sun Receiving 28.5% of the votes, Shin hye sun was actually the runner-up for my pick as well, as I had a really hard time choosing between her and Jeon jong seo she was excellent in innocence and really showed her acting skills. Miss Shin also starred in A Day and most recently Collectors, as well as the K drama Stranger. And now, the last and biggest award of the show the movie of the year. Which movie will take the honor of best movie? Let's first take a look at the nominations The Man Standing Next, Deliver Us from Evil, Pawn. The Call, and Beast Clawing at Straws. Which movie did I choose as the best film of 2020? My pick of movie of the year 2020 was The Man Standing Next. The Man Standing Next was a great movie experience that was not only informative, but had intense suspense and thrill and really sucks you in and keeps your attention throughout. It's the mystery vibe that captures your attention at first, and the story and acting that keeps it, and the suspense it gives near the end, that's the cherry on top. And finally, the fans pick of the best K-movie of 2020. Which Korean film did the fans select as a movie of the year of 2020? The fans pick was... The Call. Receiving a whopping 42.3%, The Call, starring Park shin Hye, Jeon Jong-seo, Kim seung Young, Lee Yeol, Park Go-san, Oh Jung-se, and Lee Dong-hee, was also my pick of best thriller slash horror. The movie had great acting performances by the cast members and also incredible thrill and suspense. As mentioned before, the movie had a global Netflix release but I definitely would have loved to have seen this in theaters. If you haven't checked this one out yet, it's available on Netflix right now so be sure to check it out. Okay, that's it for the 2020 K Movie Awards. Thank you to everyone that watched till the end and especially to those that partook in the voting process. I would also like to once again show my appreciation to TV and movies for their support in this year's award show. I sincerely do hope everyone stays safe and that 2021 will bring about only happiness to all of us. Let's be honest, this year was a struggle for everyone, but let's make this year a learning lesson and strive for a greater year next year. Congratulations to all the movies and actors and actresses that won this year and I'm very much looking forward to what great Korean films we'll be greeted by in 2021. That being said, once again, I'd like to thank everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in next year's Ian Talk Movie Awards.